Welcome back to the Cheapo Spotlight. That's right, in the Cheapo Nation today we have a clamp meter up for our perusal. Not just any clamp, it's the B-Side ACM91 here for you now. Let's take a look. Big thanks to B-Side for providing the ACM91 for our viewing pleasure. Darling, you look marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. The ACM91 has a host of features. Yeah, this little guy does a lot. It does voltage, current, AC and DC. It does resistance, capacitance, frequency, temperature, continuity, and of course the live wire check. And it all does it in this pretty svelte, small little package. Hey, B-side ships with a pretty cool little carrying case. Um, I like it. It's definitely uh, just the right size for this minute little meter. And overall impression is quite good. In the case itself, we have got the user manual. And believe it or not, it's actually okay. Um, it is in Chinese as well as English. So yeah, good to go. Also get a decent set of test leads. Now these aren't the ones we typically see on the cheapo meters. They're actually a little bit bigger. Um, they have a Cat3 1000 volt rating and overall uh, first impression is not bad. If I try and take off that protective shroud, oh, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, very sharp and quite long. Also get a thermocouple because yes, the B-side also does temperature. Always neat when you get lots of functionality in such a small clamp meter. In the hand itself, it feels really good. Very easy to manipulate the controls, move the rotary selector switch, and change the soft touch buttons. Oh, it's got a handy little clip there if you wanna put this on your belt and look oh so cool walking down the road. If I compare this to another clamp meter I reviewed not too long ago, um, it is very small as you can tell. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely portable, um, I like it. All right, so let's take a look at the actual clamp itself. Um, it has a very nifty feature here, which we'll look at in a minute. That is for holding a probe. So it's almost like a pen meter sometimes, um, very cool. On the clamp itself, it says Cat2 600 volt, 100 amp, Cat3 600 volt. Looking at the selector switch itself, we start at the live position. This is followed by current amps ACDC, volts ACDC, low Z or low impedance mode. This is for identifying ghost voltages, resistance and continuity, temperature, both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Finally, microamps. In the top left, we have the select or zero switch. In the middle, we have our hold and our backlight button. Finally, on the right, we have our voltage and live Jack inputs alert. are at the bottom. As you can see, it has a rating of maximum 600 volts. True RMS, AC-DC. Let's put this baby. Let's turn that selector switch on for the first time just by pressing the top button. And it comes on. 6,000 counts. That's what we get to look at in the beginning. Now we want to switch it to volts DC, which is what we're going to test first. And you can see overall, um, I'm going to give that display probably about a uh, three out of five. Um, the glass itself, there's a bit of a curvature on this, so it is making things just a tad difficult. Um, also, you can tell there's a lot of uh, stray glare happening. So depending on your angle, it's not going to be the easiest display to read. But um, that being said, if you're an okay angle and you can see things all right, it is okay. And I'm going to put the backlight on and it's a little bit better, um, but really doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, all in all, uh, not a bad display, but uh, definitely not the nicest one out there. So we're looking at 250 millivolts and we are really darn close at 0.249 volts. Now that uh, precision re voltage reference has just been turned on about five minutes ago. So ideally it should be heating up a little bit longer, but yeah, that's pretty darn close. 2.50 is what we want to see and spot on. 
Check out that temperature mode, dual display, pretty cool. 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius in the lab. Yeah, I really like that dual display. Now the clamp does have a rather small opening. Um, well, the opening itself from the jaws are okay, but the inside, the circumference of that hole, definitely smaller than um, your average clamp. So that may or may not be a problem depending what you're testing, um, but just something to take note of. Definitely meter sixes. We're talking 600 volts AC DC, 6,000 microfarad, 60 mega ohm, 6,000 count. True RMS, you get the idea. It's a 60 meter. Now we're going to be looking at resistance quickly. Um, before I do that, here we see the select slash zero. Now this is not a zero as in a rel feature. Actually, that zero is only there for the DC current testing mode. Um, nothing to do with resistance. So no rel feature on this little guy. Alrighty, let's look at a resistor. Okay, let's see how fast it ranges. Remember, this does go up to 60 mega ohm. We're sitting at 9 mega ohm right now. And look at that spot on. Take it down to eight. Yeah, that was nice and fast. No worries there. Down to five mega ohm. Three mega ohm. Two. And one mega ohm. So yeah, we can see resistance wise, um, not the fastest, but certainly not the slowest. Doesn't take that long to range all in all. I like what I see. Not much range in capacitance mode. Uh, forget about checking those small caps. The uh, resolution is from 600 microfarad to 6,000 microfarad or 6 millifarad. So definitely not going to be able to get uh, any low cap testing with this meter. But hey, you normally don't buy a clamp meter to test a bunch of capacitors anyway. I've got a 4,700 microfarad capacitor here. Let's give it a whirl. See how quick it is. Thinking. Come on, baby. There we are. 4.507 microfarad. I'm sorry, 4,500 microfarad. Close enough. Yeah. So once again, just not a meter for um, capacitors in general. The odd one, okay. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be your mainstay for testing those. Continuity time it is. I've got the stock probes ready, locked, and loaded. Hey, I do have some viewers that say, hey, you know what? You've got to sandpaper those probes first. You gotta clean them first before you test them. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Hey, I don't expect my end users to suddenly pull out the sandpaper when they get a new meter. Not saying that you can't, but initially I like to test these things as they ship to us in the box. So that's what I'm doing. Here we go. Stock probes. No sanding. No nothing. One, two, three. And guess what? I'm not in continuity. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Da -da -da -da. And now we are continuity. Okay. Three, two, one. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Um, not the loudest I've heard, but uh, it's latched. And you know what? I'm going to give that about an 8 out of 10. Hmm. Better than I expected. Oh, master time. Here we go. Yeah, once again, the Probe Masters, take it up a notch. That's a definite 8.59 out of 10. Good stuff. Stop showing off. Sixty-five point six decibels maximum output volume in continuity mode. Next up, we're going to look at the live mode. Now, live and NCV are two different things. Um, Entirely. So in this case, what happens with live is it's looking to see if there's a hot circuit. Now we have voltage coming through here. So all you do is, is you take your positive probe. So you just start probing. Once you found it, you can see it's in live mode. It has a nice uh, red display. It lets you know that definitely the circuit is hot. Proceed with caution. So kind of cool. Um, yeah, overall, I like the implementation. Looking good. Next, I'm going to look at voltage alert, also known as NCV or non-contact voltage. Simply hold down on that V alert button, put you into NCV mode, and start testing. 
And if you do find a live circuit, you're gonna hear that beep. And once again, you're gonna see that flash. So overall, not a bad implementation. Uh, my experience with this, probably not the most sensitive out there, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. AC bolts are next. As you can see, 121 volts, spot on. And look at that, you do have that dual display once again, kicking in, showing us the frequency 60 Hertz. So yeah, very neat. We also have that indicator telling us we are in high voltage mode. So all in all, a nice verbose display. And uh, I love the dual display. Already next up, it is amps mode. And now I've got a uh, air purifier beside me. And I'm just gonna turn that off and we're gonna compare the B-side to the uh, WHA 5000 uh, Maztec clamp meter add-on. Um, yeah, so I had promised some time back when I did the review for the WH 5000A that I would find a clamp for it. And I did. Squish, squish, gonna squish, 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 squish. Alrighty, so without further ado, okay, let's start off with the B-side mini clamp. I've got that air filter in a low mode and we're looking at around 2.3 amps. Okay, let's bring it up to max and 6.6 .6 amps. Okay, you're gonna hold that. 6.66, oh my gosh, look at that. Kind of evil, isn't it? 6.66 .6 amps in high mode. And let's compare that to the Maztec clamp and pretty close 6.5 amps. Let's bring it down mid mode around two amps and low mode one amp. Now funny enough on this air filter itself, it's a Bion air filter, it does say 1.1 amp uh, for the output. Obviously that is in low mode. On high mode, it is more like 6.5. 5.6 6 amps. So let's just take off the Maztec clamp. And once again, and yeah, 6.6. 6 .6. So, yeah, close enough. So, all in all, in terms of the clamp measurement, uh, my only gripe would be I just wish that the clamp head itself the jaw opening was a tiny bit uh, bigger and the circumference of the jaw itself was um, a little bit bigger it just is a tad on the small side all right let's take a look on the inside Alrighty, we've got one phillips screw that simply unscrews and it's got that nice brass threaded insert inside we've got two triple eight batteries powering this little mini beast Alrighty, let's just lose the batteries. We have one more Phillips screw right there. And it should just ever so gently pop off. We know that just only happens in the movies, right? Now we got to do a little bit of gentle persuasion. Almost there. I'm just kidding, it wasn't five hours later. All right, so here we freaking go, I'm hoping. Now, you know what, all oh, the buggers. Yeah, there's one more right underneath that serial number. Okay, Oops. now we are good to go. And yeah, here we go. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, yeah, no shielding. Pretty decent looking layout on the PCB, not too crowded, everything looks nicely aligned. Uh, starting off with the input jacks in there, nice and uh, deep, good solder, um, nicely tied into the input wells themselves. A uh, tiny bit of flux, but really nothing to worry about. So yeah, no worries there. On the uh, voltage side of things, it looks like we have, on the input side of things, we have a couple of PTCs for the microamp range and a couple of voltage input resistors for the voltage. Big whole tech chip here is for the LCD display and the main IC, multimeter IC, right here. The EEP ROM right here, the T24C02. We see that a lot in today's multimeters, especially those that are utilizing the DreamTech IC. For the current sensing, we have a nice flat ribbon cable over here. 
and we see that red wire going into the clamp head. That is probably for the NCV. That date on this board is October 31st, 2017. Ooh, who's made on Halloween? Already gonna put this one back together and come back. BCM91 clamp meter, the tiny clamp meter from B side. It's a good multimeter. Is it a great, great clamp meter? Mm, I don't think so, but it's a good tiny clamp meter. Yeah, it does what it claims to do. Now, I wish that clamp head was a little bit bigger. The jaws are just a wee bit on the too small the size. range. Well, it kind of sucks. And there is no diode mode. Display itself, pretty nice, has that dual display. And it is not the crispest I've seen, but definitely not the worst. It does do temperature, which is kind of unusual for a tiny clamp meter to do. But hey, that's just a bonus. All in all, you're talking 30 bucks US, around $37, $38 Canadian. Definitely a bargain price for a clamp meter that does DC current. Hey, what can I say? The B-side, ACM91 gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next time, keep on testing.